Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Game Development Log Video Diary and this week I programmed the first of the development tools for my game, a program that allows me to create and edit items. So here's the program, I've just opened it up and I can start things off by creating a new item file. So straight away this standard information panel pops up and you can enter the name and ID as well as choose the icon for the item. I can then go ahead and choose the item's category, and when I do this you'll see a few things change. So firstly the first four digits of the ID have automatically changed to represent the category, and also this clothes info panel has opened up, and we've got a little preview of our man down here. So now I'll set the subcategory to headwear, and I can decide here on whether the item stacks or not, choose the price, and also set the description for this helmet. Now I can move on to set some of the clothes specific settings such as choosing the combat type and the style of the helmet and you can also set the item stats here. I now need to load the model for the helmet and I can do this by adding a new model section. I then choose what part of the body this model section should be connected to so in this case that will of course be the head and then I just have to choose the helmet model from the list of available models. So you can see a preview of the untextured helmet model here and you might also be able to see that the player's hair is clipping through the model a bit. So I'll fix that by selecting covers accessory which stops the hair from being rendered. If I select covers skin that actually stops the whole body section from being rendered which we obviously don't want on this occasion. So let's now add a texture to the model by clicking add diffuse map and then I can select the horn hat texture. So you see in the preview that the model is now textured and it also shows the helmet being rendered in all the possible melee armor materials. You can also choose how shiny and reflective the texture is by adjusting these two sliders here. One final thing, I can also set a specular and glow map for the model. So if I choose this one here, you can see that the horns of the helmet are no longer shiny and also this glow option has now appeared. If I go ahead and select the glow option, you can see that it makes the horns of the helmet glow. So once you're finished with an item, you can go ahead and save it and that will export the item to the saves folder. So if we have a quick look, you can see that there is now a folder for the item that I just created. In the folder, we've got the item's icon, model file and also text file containing info about that item. We've also got this texture folder here which holds the diffuse and extra maps as well as a texture configs file with information about the shine and reflectivity etc of that texture. And you can open up and edit any of these item files in the item creator tool. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the top item that I made earlier and you can see that it opens up with all the settings and preview already there. So I can go ahead and edit this in any way that I want now, so let's remove a couple of model sections and you can see them disappearing in the preview on the left there. So yeah, that is the item creator. So, as I mentioned last week, I will soon be needing the help of all of you guys. In a few weeks, I'm going to be releasing the item creator tool and all the other development tools that I'm going to be programming, so that anyone who's interested can help contribute towards the game to help make this game really awesome. I'm not quite ready to do that just yet, and there will be more videos in the future about how exactly you can get involved, but for now, if you think you might be interested in helping, then do send me an email letting me know what exactly you'd be able to help with, whether it be making models, textures, icons, music, website design, or whatever. Then in a few weeks time, I'll distribute the tools to everyone who wanted to help, and then you guys will have the opportunity to create content for the game if you feel like it. But yeah, that is it for this week. I just want to give a massive thanks to Matterstar, who really helped me this week with exporting the item creator tool and generally just getting it ready for distributing. A link to his YouTube channel is in the description where he has some devlog videos of his own. Don't forget to keep in touch and up to date via all my social media sites, including my new Facebook page. Uh, there'll be a new tutorial video out tomorrow and the next devlog video will either be next Friday or the week after, depending on my progress. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this video, do subscribe if you haven't already, have a wonderful week and I will see you all next time.